Hello and welcome once again to Breakfast All Day. I am Christy and that is Matt and that is Alonzo. Our next movie for you is a charming, delightful, warm hug of a film. It is exactly what you need to watch right now. It is called Driveways. Alonzo, please describe it. Yeah, I, I, I adore this movie. This is the uh, Andrew Ahn's follow-up film to uh, his Sundance hit uh, Spa Night, and it stars uh, Hong Chow as a woman whose older estranged sister has died, and she and her young son, played by Lucas J, uh, go to the sister's house, figuring they can like you know clean it out really quick and then hand it over to a real estate agent to sell for them. Uh, but when they arrive, they discover that the older sister uh, was a hoarder, and so the house is just full of crap and things and stuff, and this is going to take longer than expected. Um, and in the meantime, they become friends with her next door neighbor, Dell, uh, an older uh, veteran, played by the late Brian Dennehy. Um, I saw this movie last fall at the Virginia Film Festival in Richmond and loved it. Um, I thought it was just, you know, really sweet and moving. And I think it's even more moving now that we have lost Brian Dennehy. When I saw the movie last fall, I remember, I think I tweeted like, uh, whoever releases this film better have an awards campaign for Brian Dennehy. And I think, you know, if, if, if there's a shot at getting him some, some posthumous awards love, I, I hope it happens because he's extraordinary in this movie. His, his, uh, uh, you know, rapport with Lucas J is terrific. And if you think, oh God, not another movie about a crusty old man who befriends a young child, this is not that, or at least it's not that in the way that you've seen a million times. This is smart and disarming and sweet and lovely. Well, you mentioned awards, um, Alonzo, it was a two-time Spirit Award nominee yes. because they, they do things based on, you know, when a film a festival, has a festival yeah. release. So. Um, so a year ago, or last fall, whatever, they were considering it, and so it, it was nominated for Best for a Screenplay from Hannah Bose and Paul Farine, and also for Hong Chow for her performance as Best Female Lead. Um, She's also great. Yeah, on paper, she is so great and so versatile, and I, I love that this is a, a really complex complicated and flawed character and we see her struggle and we see her make mistakes and she's not always a perfect mom and she's just trying to figure it out day by day and you're right that whole relationship between Lucas J and Brian Dennehy's characters sounds so mawkish on paper it sounds so feel good and so familiar and so so trite and there is such delicacy here Andrew on who we should acknowledge we know. I, 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 I've gotten to know him a yeah. little bit through Outfest, but like, you know. Yeah, we, we know him a bit, but he, he's, he's a really sweet guy. I've he's never had lunch trip. with him. Okay. <laughs> um, he's a, that's the standard, right? Yes. That's, that's whether that's we can review this film or not. Um, but he's got a great knack for, sense, for a real sensitivity with his characters and, and creating a feeling of intimacy and creating a world in which. Um, there are surprises and you're learning about these people and you're constantly surprised by them. But yeah, it's uh, it's totally charming and, and sweet and uh, unexpected. Yeah, and I, some nice, uh, some, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I have nothing to say about this. Uh, no, I, listen, show. this is a terrific film. Um, you know, I, I had to look, I couldn't remember for a minute where we had seen Hong Chao before. She's in Watchmen. Um, yep. Yes. She, when and, she was uh, terrific. Downsizing. Um, yeah, she's great in this. Uh, the chemistry between her, you know, between Kathy and, and Cody, her son, who she calls Professor, you know, the, the son is, Cody is shy. Like he gets, he gets overwhelmed real easy. Um, but they don't overplay that, right? On as a director doesn't overplay that. Uh, you know, this, this movie never tips into melodrama. This is a, this is a quiet kind of almost like, I hate to use slice of life, but it's this just kind of chill movie. Naturalist. And, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and it's it almost like, it's almost minimalist, right? Um, it is. Like, you know, so when, you know, we see, you know, Dell is not particularly loquacious, um, and yet there's a real bond between him and Cody. Uh, you know, Dennehy just nails it in this. He's so good. So when you get to that birthday party, uh, it's such a great payoff, uh, the way that all goes down. I absolutely loved this movie. And a little bit, I started, as I was, you know, because I just watched it this week, I started wondering a little bit halfway through, and this is easy to do when, you know, because we're watching stuff at home as opposed to being in theaters, um, 
like that thing that Christy sent around us, sent around from The Onion, holy shit, this movie still has 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> it is a little bit, it's more often than I'm paying attention to how much longer the movie has. And in this movie, you know, about halfway through it, I'm like, where's the big conflict here? Where's, where's the big drama gonna happen? The movie doesn't need it. it doesn't need well, it at all, right? Um, yes, there are some things that happen, but this movie never quite goes where I thought it was gonna go. Um, it really avoids a lot of traps that could have happened with this story. And it's just, it's a beautiful movie. And I'm, I'm so impressed with everybody in this. And Ons Direction is so sure-handed here. And I would be really excited to see the next thing On does. I, I just love this movie. It's, it's, it's nearly perfect. Yeah, no, it's uh, absolutely. And if you haven't seen Spawn Night yet, by, by all means, go back and, and rent that one. I think it's, it's a really very powerful debut and really impressive work. Um, I, I did want to mention, you were talking about that everybody here is so great. Uh, Christine Ebersol has the sort of nosy neighbor, I thought was, has a couple of really fun scenes as well. Yes, um, Spy is the, the rare film that takes place in Los Angeles and is set in Koreatown. You know, yes. it's, it's a part of LA that is massive and densely populated and richly cultural and vibrant and not a lot gets shot there. And uh, frequently ignored by filmmakers. But it's yeah. like right smack in the middle of LA <laughs> between downtown and the beach, it's big. Um, okay, so I'm saying nine. Uh, nine and a half, I, I, I've seen this twice now. Uh, I was moved the first time I wept the second time. Oh. <laughs> Again, that maybe, I don't know if that's just because Brian Dennehy, you know, and, and, and uh, that being such a new uh, loss for us, but uh, that final monologue he has is just mm -hmm. nails it. And mm -hmm. the movie itself is just, yeah, it's so beautifully put together and so subtle and lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Nine and a half too. It's again, it's damn near perfect. Okay, great. Our number is a 9.3. So Driveways is available on Amazon Prime and maybe some other places too. iTunes and yeah, all the YouTube, the places, the places that you go for the thing. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, follow us at BeFast all day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash BeFast all day. Uh, that's where we uh, talk about TV. We're finishing up the uh, third season of Westworld on HBO. We're talking about Mrs. America on Hulu. And there's uh, lots of more fun stuff coming up that's exclusive to our subscribers. So do check that out. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good week. We'll see you next time. Bye.